assignment for A14, you will notice that there's some similarities between the code I just shared with you and A14. So that should be useful to you. Um, A14, the assignment is to create a object-oriented playlist. The, each song in the playlist should have a title, a year, and a rating. Uh, I find it convenient to store the rating as like a string of stars. So like a string of asterisks between one asterisk and five asterisks. If you want to do the rating as an integer, that's fine too. You can, you can store the rating however you want. <clears throat> Create an object called playlist that stores song objects. So we need an aggregate object or an aggregation object called playlist that has as one of its properties the list of songs. So the program should allow you to view the songs, add a new song, remove song, and I'd like you to try and figure out how to update the rating on an individual song. Okay, so note that the rating is part of the song object, not part of the playlist object. So you will need a method in the song called update rating okay so that's that's a hint for that one but um the program should at minimum have the following options if you'd like an extra challenge here here is something you can do try using the pickle library to save the playlist data every time it's updated so every time the playlist gets updated, save that to a text file using the pickle library. And when you start the program, have it load the data from the pickle library. Okay, so that's extra challenge, not extra credit, just for fun. So that is A14. Um, like I said, it should be remarkably similar to the library and books construct that I just shared with you. So I highly recommend playing around with that code so you can get an idea of how it all works together. But once you look at it on your computer and add or modify some things, maybe it'll make more sense. Try adding properties to the books, maybe a year of publication or something. Try seeing if you can change a property, how that works. Play around with it. And then, then I would say try and tackle the object-oriented playlist. So. We're, we're getting into almost the, the last new difficult material of the class, but this part is important because we're going to be using objects like this in, in the last uh, several modules of the class because we'll be using pre-built libraries that are a little bit more advanced than what we've been playing around with so far. So understanding how these work and how aggregates work will be important, not just for this class, but if you go on to computer science, very, very important to understand that construct as well. Okay, so any questions about A14? All right, good luck. Let me know if you have any trouble downloading the code, but it should be there.